Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Stacy. This is going to be my December December reading wrap up. Had a pretty good reading month uh, last month. Not too far behind getting this filmed and hopefully getting this posted. It is January 2nd today. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. The first book I read was Midwinter Murder by Agatha Christie. That is a compilation of a bunch of short stories of hers all set in the winter time. Um, some are more holiday related, some are just like snowy kind of related. <laughs> Uh, but I really enjoyed this, especially the first story, Three Blind Mice. I would actually reread that one. I like that one a lot. It's one of my favorites of hers out of all of her books. And it was on the longer side. Um, some of them I didn't love, you know, as much. But overall, I would give it four and a half stars. I thought it was really good and a really good uh, mixture of different kinds of stories with different characters, because some had Perot, some had Marple, and then there was um, Tommy and Tuppence, and some didn't have a detective. So it was really good. The next book I read was A Holiday by Gaslight by Mimi Matthews. This was historical fiction. I wanna say this is like Victorian era set in America, but it was in the time when uh, gas lamps were becoming a thing and people were starting to get them put into their homes. Um, it was very costly and only super rich people had it done. Uh, but this was a Christmassy novella, romance, historical fiction. I really liked it. I enjoy uh, Mimi Matthews' writing style. I hadn't read anything from her before, uh, but I think it was well done and I thought the romance was nice and not um, over the top or anything and I actually did learn some stuff with um, all the stuff with the gas lights. I thought that was interesting. I love history so it's just kind of my thing. Uh, the next book I read, sorry I'm looking over at my notebook. The next book I read was Giver of Wonders by Rosanna M. White. This was, uh, I guess you could call this, I don't know if this would be exactly biblical fiction or historical fiction, but it was about the beginnings of St. Nicholas, you know, like Santa Claus from Christmas. This book goes back to when he was a young man and it's about his relationship with a close cousin of his and a young lady um, and how he heals her in the very beginning. Apparently he could uh, perform miracles. I don't know exactly how accurate this portrayal is to the real St. Nicholas. I didn't do um, any research on that, um, but it takes place, I wanna say it was Greece that this was set in. So I guess he's from Greece or Turkey, one of those. Um, but yeah, I liked it, especially the end. I do feel like it was a bit drawn out in the middle, but the end really got me. So if you want a good Christmassy read that's more historical based, I would check that out. The next one I read was What Child Is This by Reese Bowen. This was super short. It was only 49 pages. So um, this was set during the Blitz in London. And it was about a couple that their house gets bombed essentially or their neighborhood gets set on fire and they have to escape into the night and then they come across a abandoned kid in another house and um it's their story <laughs> i can't say too much about a 49 page story but um, I really liked it. I learned stuff from this one as well. You really felt like uh, you were there with people during the Blitz and the stuff that they had to deal with and go through. Uh, but I would say it was too short. I really would have wished it went on further because it kind of ended in a weird spot for me. Um, so I gave it three stars. The next one was The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, this was the third book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And it was probably my least favorite of the three. The second one was definitely my favorite. Uh, this one uh, was kind of harder for me to get through. There was a lot of marching, resting, sleeping, marching, resting, sleeping. It was just kind of drawn out. I just feel like not a whole lot happened in this book. 
I would say the end was very interesting because the end went past how the movie ends and so you get a whole lot more of the story and I thought that was really interesting. So yeah, I gave this one four stars and I will be reading The Hobbit soon because I haven't read that one yet. And I definitely have developed a love of um, fantasy where I never really was interested in fantasy before. I definitely want to read more, especially Christian fantasy. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. The next book was John Eyre, again by Mimi Matthews. Uh, this one was such a surprise for me. Uh, it went into places I had no idea it was going. <laughs> I just thought it was a historical fiction retelling of Jane Eyre. That's what I thought it was, but it was a lot more than that. It was way more gothic-y and involved, and there was supernatural aspects to this book that I just had no idea was in there. But that being said, it was so engaging. It really drew me in and I really kept wanting to pick it up and to continue to see what the heck was going on. <laughs> it was wild. Uh, I really did like that. And again, Mimi Matthews writing is excellent. Uh, I definitely will be picking up more books of hers. Uh, the next one was called Snowblind by Matthew Costello. This was another novella and it is a murder mystery and it's a part of a pretty large series. I think there's over 40 books in this series. Um, this was excellent. I listened to this and it was only about two hours long and it was such a great um, story. It had great characters. It was a great setting. It's in a city or a town called Charing Charingham in England and it's one of those picturesque beautiful little towns like quaint and um, you get to know the different people in the town and how they interact and it's set during a snowstorm. Uh, two men leave a retirement home and end up wandering around in the snow. Uh, so, so yeah there's not a whole lot I can t say about this one as well but if you like Agatha Christie or um, murder she wrote I would compare it to stuff like that although it's modern it's contemporary but I totally recommend that I don't think it was Christian I don't think it's supposed to be Christian fiction but it it's clean and like cozy um, and then the last one I want to talk about I didn't read it all in December but I did finish it in December and that is the CSV Holy Land illustrated Bible I have been reading that all throughout the year I did a year-long chronological read-through of this, and I really like this Bible. Um, if you're interested in history or archaeology, things like that, I would definitely look into picking this up. And the CSB version is so easy to understand. Um, so yeah, I loved it, and I finally finished it uh, the last day or so of December. So yeah, I will be moving on to a new Bible uh, for 2022. I'm going to be reading the NLT Illustrated Study Bible. So maybe I'll show that in another video. But anyway, those are the books that I read in December. Like I said, I had a pretty good reading month. I hope you guys had a great Christmas and New Year's and um, January starts out wonderful for everybody and I will see y'all soon. Bye!